What is up guys? Hello and welcome to another, well actually a statue review and a classic review also because this is the pre-owned Iroha from Samurai Showdown. Showdown? Samurai Showdown 5 or 6. I think it was. Damn, I don't remember. She's only been in one even though there's a lot of figures of her. It's probably because of the, the overall look pretty iconic you have a maid outfit but it's not just it's kind of like if you mix up a maid with a ninja and that's basically what you get when you have an outfit there's actually a little bit of a backstory with this character as well because I mentioned before how much I like to sit on Ami Ami and look at their pre-owned stuff and my background keeps falling because this box is way too big but I like to sit on Ami Ami and look at their pre-owned stuff and I've never even played Samurai Showdown 5 or 6 whichever the one Ira is in and she's not in any other game so I don't really know the character I just thought the design I really like the design and everything and there's like I said a ton of figures of her and every now and then I look at the pre-owned stuff and when I have my card and when I have something that's there and I still want to add something there's been Ira figures in my card so oh so many times you wouldn't even believe it I've had her in there so many times in different figures and from different guys, from different manufacturers. But every time, every time I ended up being like, oh no, I'm guessing I'm gonna pass because it's too expensive or I didn't really have that much of a connection to the character. And this is from Griffin Enterprises, by the way. But yeah, the point is, after all this time, I finally got an era figure. And I think I'm good with this one, because I really like the face and everything. But enough about the box, enough about my stupid stories, let's get into the figure. And here we go. First of all, the size, she sits at 14, well, 15 centimeters really to the top of her crown, basically. I mean, the crown dead thing. I don't know what that's called. I'm not really well versed in, in mate uniforms. Six inches, and this stupid background is really getting on my nerves but anyhow let's have a look at the face which is really the main feature that really blew me away about this character the eyes the way the eyes are painted is amazing just it's different and you can say oh it's a little bit a little bit of an overload because there's way much detail in there all the lines going around but I really like it and overall just like the the face is very nicely done very cute and it fits with the character even though she's also fighting with blades and stuff so that's not really cute but it's more about the outfit and you have the paint job going on and uh, I'm still gonna call the crown excuse me if you uh, know what it's called then let me know in the comments the hair is black ish with some some lines going down there it's kind of weird shading I mean, overall it looks good, but I don't really see a pattern in it. It's just kind of like, let's have a line there and there and there. It's not bad. It's there. I mean, it has shading, so that's always appreciated. And it has nicely sculpted going down to... <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna get this over with. This is soft. They made the boobs soft. I don't know why. Don't. Don't. You know, just, just don't. Let's just... Yeah. Alright, rest of the outfit, you have the, the white stuff, the white part, the, well actually it's more grayish, it's metallic. Now, it looks cool overall, but in terms of, you know, how it looks in the game, I mean from what I've seen it's basically white. It looks cool, I mean overall, for the figure it has a, go a cool effect, a good effect, what I'm trying to say, like, good. Also, there's some there's some side boob, I guess. Yeah, definitely. That's soft too. No, that's actually not soft. Just checking. But like I said, it's the gray. I like it. It looks good, even though it's not 100% game accurate. But I can, I can forgive them that. And also, like the black, there's a lot of shading going on. And by the way, she sculpted the way so you can just sit her down. She's not rounded. It's it looks kind of wonky, but of course, I mean you you will have her sitting on the ground, so it's not really something you will notice. Also, this the ribbon going down over here is soft plastic. The rest of it is not. 
I mean, it's kind of soft-ish. You can kind of bend it a little bit. But this is definitely more sturdy than this because this is just like you can tell with one finger. I can move it around fairly easily and with this one I just... And that's the figure. Let's have a look at the accessories that come with it. Of course you have a base. Now one thing about it, first of all, it's kind of dirty over here. It's kind of scratched. But this is pre-owned. I'm gonna mention that again. This is pre-owned. And my camera is freaking out because it's super reflecting because it's like shiny, shiny plastic. Okay, I have to make, I have to take that away. Uh, one more thing about the base, in the promotional pictures, the base was actually one of these mirror bases, and this is not, this is not, this is just black, it's not, there's no, there's no mirror on it, so, kind of false advertising there, boys, and then you have the two blades, which look nice, uh, are they actually painted metallic, or is it just, I think it's just shiny plastic, yeah, there's no, there's no red particles going on, but yeah, you have the two logos in there, like a swan or something? That looks very cool. The handles are nicely painted. And of course you have the dark grey. And the light grey, it looks good. It is kind of also more soft-ish. Kind of like a weird material. I think it looks a little bit cheap. Just a little bit. I know, I would have preferred something more more solid. The fact that the, uh, the light grey is kind of more... That seems metallic. Yeah, the rest isn't really. So that's that. I mean, it's not bad by any means. And then finally, you have her shoes. Which is all just for decoration. She can't actually put it on. Because there's nothing, there's no room down here and you can't move this up. And there's actually no, nothing on, nothing going on with the toes, but you could, uh, we could kind of bend that up. So, I just wanna, no, I thought this was kind of disconnected. No, it isn't. But yeah, um, one more thing about the blades, let's see. I tried it out earlier and it, her hands are not really made to hold the blades, but you can kind of push it in and it will stay in place if in a sitting pose or you can turn it around like that. You can kind of play around with that, so it is it is possible for her to hold her weapons in a way, even though she's not, the, the hands are not sculpted to really, to really hold these, but it will work if you try around with it a little bit. So there you go. It kind of works, it's kind of there. So if you want to do it, you can. But that's gonna do it already. Final thoughts on this figure. I'm super happy with this one. I'm super happy I waited this long to, to get an Iroha. And I just wanted to, yeah, she has painted toenails. But yeah, I'm super happy with this one. I think this is the best Iroha I've seen. I do recommend this one if you can find it, of course, because it's an old figure. But I bought this one on AmiAmi pre-owned. I think they still have some, so just, you know... Although by the time of this review going up, there might not be any. But just, just look it up, alright? Griffin Enterprises, Samurai Showdown, Iroha. There you go. And that's gonna do it, guys. As usual, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, feel free to hit it up with a like. And maybe subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, gameplay stuff, and whatever Iroha wants. Goodbye.